The International Women's Conference on Transformational Leadership has come to an end. The discussion focuses on climate, conflict, and security. Movement building, leading in a digital age, partnership for change, building solidarity and partnership with media, intergenerational dialogue, pathway to leadership and mentorship. Uh, with women, and many of them are not only from the national level, but even from the subnational level, uh, created a platform also for women to interact and to know themselves. Uh, so I think this uh, conference is very important because it will be a, a platform for women to strategize how uh, to, to, to think about uh, increasing maybe their visibility in terms of uh, the numerical participation and then substantive participation also. The three-day conference has impacted women, especially the young ones, say they have gained a lot in terms of women leading transformation and change in communities, amplifying voices of rural women and girls. And you start by yourself. You start with your ideas, with your little fun, then friends, then balance. You know, you see the levels. Number three is banks. Number four is government. The government, even if you have your, your ideas and you're staying at home, you're not doing anything, okay? And even the government funds will be available. And you're not able to even to take the risk. You were told here yesterday about risk. So business itself is risk. You take that risk. This is again from Ocha. As the presentation was taking place, the climate security advisor, Dr. John Nikem, said climate disruptions, displacement, stare, security concerns, and a threatened peaceful coexistence between communities, furthering that it forces migration. So there is a need for meteorologists to be. Uh, but basically the area of capacity building and to ensure that the youth and the women are being trained so that we'll be able to know how to mitigate the flood and to be able to move uh, around the country safely and so that we go to COP just like yeah. any other person people with disabilities and women yeah, yeah. from south sudan police You're defense forces participated in the conference and were able to represent their group. Among them was South Sudan Women with Disability Network. Madam from Ghana, how are women in Ghana, women with disabilities, more especially like hearing impaired, visually impaired, physically impaired, how do they participate? How are they included? Because here in South Sudan, we are uh, being included, but in terms of giving opportunities, we are not getting that opportunity. So, I will stand before you. The International Conference on Women Transformational Leadership has just been concluded, and among the discussion, women seem to be focusing on women's economic empowerment, which they say it is important because it is a fundamental human right. It is a potential to reduce vulnerability to gender-based violence. They're saying it is also important because it enhances access to productive resources, productivity, and economic growth. Guatemala is in economic empowerment. Akuchmaker, SSBC.